What's going on guys, Talon back here, and today we are going to do a little speculation. Yes, if you guys have not been watching the countdowns, or watching the little news information and everything, we have been getting some subtle hints as to what is coming in either today, depending on when you're watching this, technically by the time I'm recording this tomorrow, but it's kind of hard to say what we're going to be getting. So if you don't know what I've been talking about, we're we'll be getting this string of random pictures. Well, they're not really random, it's more the history of Dragon Ball, essentially. And just like when they had the year two stuff with, Dra with uh, Dragon Ball GT being the final thing, you know, they started with Goku and Vegeta as kids, and they slowly moved them all the way up until they got to Super Saiyan 4, and that was the big hoo-ha reveal kind of thing. Well, they're kind of doing the same thing now. However, however, we've been going through the arc. So we went through Dragon Ball, we went through the World Tournament, we went through the Saiyan Saga, we went through the Frieza Saga, we went through the Android Saga, Boo, uh... Dragon Ball Super stuff, uh, up to what we know so far at least, and then this was the last one today, which was kind of the first part of Dragon Ball GT. Now, everyone's wondering, uh, so what's next, you know, uh, if, and if you guys don't know why they're doing this, it's because this is going to be the 777th day that since Dokkan was released on JP, so... You know, seven, I don't know why. I've lived here and I still don't know why. Why seven is the whoa, lucky number for Japan, apparently. I mean, I, I know the whole, you know, seven lucky number type of thing, but it's, uh, I don't know, it's kind of old fashioned right there, if you ask me. But nonetheless, anyway, so the big question is what are we getting? What can we speculate? What do we know? What do we not know? Well, we know a little bit. Uh, if you guys didn't see it today, there was a little picture posted about this new kind of April Fools-like card. You guys remember the Yamcha from last time? This time we're getting a, uh, a UR Hercule card. Yes, UR Hercule card. And apparently he's got like actually pretty good attack and HP. His defense is crap though. And his passive skill is hilarious to say the least. So it's like it has a super high chance of having your own attack go down by 80%. So yeah. Although his leader skill is not terribly bad it gives all super type cards key plus three yeah not bad not bad at all so uh but anyway so it's you know it's really interesting to like okay so what are we getting what is so significant about 777 well from what i saw on the reddit apparently they pulled a little bit more information than what i've seen or that i've been where i've been looking through the news at least because a lot of this has just been you know daily login stuff i haven't actually seen anything and i'll even check again uh, nope, that's about Dragon Ball Super, cooler, cooler, events, yeah, nothing, okay, so, basically, uh, from Reddit, and I'll leave a description, a link in the description below, but, there was something about, like, depending on how much act we use, we might get a few things, I don't know if it's a community, or as, you know, like, by yourself, I think it's gonna be half and half, would be my assumption, because there was one, like, you know, use seven act in a day, and you get three sensu beans or something like that. I, I, I don't have it in front of me, so that's what, that's what I'm trying to remember. Remember, check the link in the description below to check it out. Uh, but then there was even one that was like, you know, use 7 million act or something like that, or 700,000, and we get a bunch of medals and then an old Kai, which, hey, I'm all for it. Give me my old Kai. I want it. So, but yeah, so it's gonna kind of a little interesting as to, well, okay, so you're celebrating your big 777 day with some side mission stuff okay i mean it's better than nothing you can technically get nothing for this but if you look at the dates however it also is a day before or depending on when they release it you know it could be uh where the uh the cooler it's gonna be where the cooler event ends and then it's like oh okay that means something big's coming next or maybe something small doesn't know but a lot of us are speculating that we're gonna get the next super god extreme or super the super super god we gotta come up with new names start coming up with new names guys I, I don't like the whole like neo god name but we need to come up with something for the super cards it needs to be because saying super super god card is kind of a tongue twister nonetheless but anyway back on topic though what is it gonna be what's coming next is it just these side missions or are we gonna see more well i've been you know kind of browsing around i've been talking with some friends of mine and you know have my own speculations and everything about what we could get next so a lot of people, a lot of people, the big two ones right now are saying where you're either going to get Super 17, because if you looked at the picture, because it was GT up to the end of the Baby Saga, well, what was next after the Baby Saga? We had the Super 17 act. Now, regardless of what you think about GT or that small little arc that they had, Super 17 is profitable for Bandai. Super 17, if anything, if you had to pick one thing out of that arc, 
he is what people remember because you know he was he was strong he was definitely strong in that case the arc itself was maybe not the most popular by any means but nonetheless a lot of people like him so a lot of people are speculating that okay well we have two super super god cards and we have one extreme god card the cooler that we have we have currently going right now so what are they gonna do are they gonna balance it out and make two two are they gonna have it three one are we gonna get a double banner potentially keep it three two you know, because by no means has Bandai ever been one to try and keep it even. I mean, at first we got Vegito, then we got the Demigod, uh, Kaioken Goku, then we got Gotenks. That's three heroes in a row right there. So we've already, you know, they've already gone past that already. And then after that we had uh, Boo, Golden Frieza, then Omega, then Goku Black. So there was a lot right there. There's a lot of villains straight in a row right there. So, you, you know, there, I, I don't, I don't remember really going with the argument about, oh, you know, they got to keep it even here type of thing. So, Super 17, I could easily see that being one of, you know, the next cards that come out. Uh, depending on if he's uh, Intel or Tech, it's harder to say. I think if he is the next card, though, he will be Intel. And the reason for that is the other biggest speculation right now, and that is Super Saiyan God Goku. A lot of us, a lot of people have wanted the Dokken Awakens of the strength, the intel, and the agility. A lot of people also want the free-to-play physical one. I don't see that happening. It could happen, but I don't see it happening, you know, because honestly, he was the weakest of the bunch. But I do see, you know, we, in the future, they are going to awaken him at some point. And, I, and when I say awaken, I mean a true awakening, not that, you know, rebirth stuff. So, that is why I think that if 17 does come, it's going to be Intel, because God Goku, the only one we're missing, is a tech version. We already have the other versions of, you know, of everyone else. It's time for tech to come out, and I know Gaming Claw is really, really hoping for that, and I would personally like that too, because actually, if you think about it, uh, the, uh, the Goku could really be the big bridge between the links of certain tech cards. If you look at some tech cards, like uh, Tech Vegito, who's a great support character. You have Bardock, who could all, you know, is you know, the Orb Changer, which is pretty nice, and he seals. And there are a couple others. They are mostly prepared for battle guys. Then you have the Shocking Speed guys. You have uh, Beerus. You have Whis. You have Golden Frieza, but you know you're not really going to be putting Golden Frieza onto this kind of tech team unless you are needing a true tank. Which, you know, he can't, you know, fulfill for that. But mostly, you're not really going to be bringing that kind of a tank. Unless you're trying to do some hard challenge, like beat an Intel team with a tech team, essentially, kind of thing. So, it's kind of interesting, though. It's like, okay, so we've got Super 17. We've got God Goku, which are very high possibilities. Uh, I've heard some other people saying that they want, you know, potentially Bar or Bardock. Because we definitely need some of the Bardocks to maybe get a Doken Awaken. Finally get that strength one that almost only no one has to this day. Uh, I always just always fed him for Baba points. But I do have the tech and I do have the physical one, which would be really nice. Um, I remember hearing something about maybe there's going to be a double banner about Bardock and God Goku because they originally came out on a banner almost two years ago to this day. Um, I, actually, I take the back. It was about November, so uh, two years and a little bit more, give or take. But nonetheless, it's, you know, that was part of it, so maybe they'll bring that back as a double banner type feature. And, oh man, our wallets are going to be feeling that one if it is. But anyway, uh, so, and then I've heard some people saying, oh, how about the, uh, Bojack, how about a Bojack character, or who was the third one? Uh, not Bojack, uh, Android 13, and the only reason I've really seen that is because, well, people are speculating because they finally Doke and Awaken a Baba Shop card, the cooler one, they're gonna Doke and Awaken the other two? I don't see them doing that just because, yes, those characters are somewhat popular, but they're more popular in the West, and as we all know, JP focuses mostly on Japan, essentially. Now, if you're going to be sitting, now your counter argument to that might be, oh well, they did Super Saiyan 4, and GT wasn't popular in you know uh, in Japan. That is true. GT was not popular. Super Saiyan 4, Super Saiyan 4 is majorly popular popular over here. Just look at Dragon Ball Heroes. Case done right there. So it's it could happen. I'm not going to rule it out. It could happen. I'm just saying. As popular characters go, especially for big time leaders like these, I don't see those two cards coming out just just for the point of also, hey, by the way, we're gonna Doken Awaken your Baba Shop card as well. Because I don't know many people that actually use those Baba Shop cards 
on a main team. Even if you don't have the best cards in the game, not many people use those to my knowledge at least. I could be wrong, you know, you know, I guess the cooler was somewhat decent and you know, the Doken Awaken does help, but you know, it's definitely because of when they're released and then now to get a Doken Awaken, they're only gonna be jumping a little bit more. It's, I mean, the same is with the agility cooler. So, I mean, he could be decent on an extreme agility team maybe in the future, but overall, I have a feeling by then we're going to have some better units and you're probably going to put them to the wayside unless you are struggling for maybe that like, six slot or something like that. So, um, some other ones are maybe a new Super Saiyan 3 Goku, you know, with the Halo. We haven't had that yet. You know, they've always been teasing that picture for who knows how long. So, it, it's really hard to say. Um, my big hope, though, is that it is Super Saiyan God Tech Goku for the super, super god lead, you know, HP, H HP, attack, and defense up 120%, plus three key to super types, and then extreme key plus one, HP, attack, and defense up 50%. That is my hope. I could see it set being 17 as well, just simply because of the order of that pitcher. I am leaning a little bit more towards super 17, but my hope is that it is god Goku. You know, who knows? Maybe because it's somewhat getting close to uh, April Fool's Day, they're going to pull a fast one on us and be like, ha you thought this, we're really doing this. Uh, very hard to say at this point, but yeah. So that is going to be about it for the video, guys. I didn't want to go too long on this one, but let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Do you think that we are going to be getting a new God Leader? Do you think this is just simply a bunch of missions that we're going to be getting because it's 777 and maybe some little story thing will come back that we haven't had in a while or whatever the case may be? Uh, I did see, actually, if I remember correctly, just from pure memory right here, in that Reddit link, I believe it said that the Bardock event, the very first Bardock event, is coming back for a few days. So maybe it will be Bardock that will be the next one, you know? Maybe they do it to GT, and then, to, you know, like, by the time you're watching this, most of it is you're gonna, most of you, you're going to see that it is the picture of, you know, the dragons or whatever to end GT. And then, oh, blue side story, Bardock is actually the real thing. So it's kind of hard to say at this point. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think is gonna be coming? What do you think is gonna be the next God lead? Or, you know, the extreme super, whichever one you think. If you think we're not gonna get anything, you think they're just throwing us through a loop and pulling our tails and everything. You know, who knows what they're gonna do. So anyway, and also if you think it's gonna be a God lead, let me know what you think their passives and supers will be. You know, some people are saying like Android 17, could be a uh, a blocker, you know, kind of like, you know, maybe if your HP is 30% or above, just throwing this randomly out there, then you guard for 80% of things, kind of like Golden Frieza does, or maybe you can only guard against supers, which I actually, I would, that would actually make a lot of sense, actually. Maybe you can nullify, or maybe not nullify, but tank a, if someone supers you, but if it's a normal attack, then you just say, simply take the normal damage, unless, you know, you have like a, uh, a Whis on there or anything like that. So let me know down below what you think though. What do you think their abilities are going to be? What do you think we're going to be getting? And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Hit that red subscribe button. It helps a lot. Shows you guys like these kind of discussion videos and everything because I do like making these. And you know, we'll have to see by the time. Don't forget to also follow me on Twitter because I will be talking about that stuff because hopefully by tomorrow we should be getting a lot of stuff data mined and we're going to see exactly what we're going to be getting. Could be nothing. Could be something. Who knows? Hard to say. But yeah, anyway guys, that's going to be it for the video. Leave your likes if you like the video. Subscribe if you are new and leave your comments down below. Until next time everyone, I will see you in the next one.